Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Paul. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to um, integrate React Lightbox Gallery in your project. So, in a, if you have a uh, gallery like this, how to integrate the React Lightbox in your React app. So, if I click on any of the image images listed in the gallery here, so if I click on any of them. Just click on this. So I click on this. I can see this is the um, React Lightbox Gallery. So it has thumbnail. It has cool thumbnail here. And you can use to change the images. And you can. It, it also has slideshow. Can do slideshow and you can hide the thumbnail. So then also download the pictures. And request full screen. You can also request full screen. Okay, so and it also looks good um, in uh, in mobile on mobile device. Let me just show the mobile device. Okay, so this is the mobile device. This is the mobile device view. So if I should click on any of the image now. I can see. So it also looks cool in the mobile device. So if I enable touch now. Okay. So it also looks good. So you can slide and slide by them. And you can hide the stuff also. I did I can download the image. I can play it in slideshow. Okay, so let's go back to the full screen. Okay, so this is what we are going to be doing in this tutorial. And before we go on, please, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please subscribe. Thank you. Okay, so in the documentation of uh, React Lightbox that is in that is on NPM website. So if you should scroll down, you see the demo website and the cool stuff that uh, that is there that I can do here. And um, don't worry, the link to this website and the um, lesson files is going to be the link to the lesson files is going to be available uh, in the description of this tutorial. Okay, so if we just scroll down, we are going to see how to install install it on our machine and how to install it with yarn and uh, uh, npm and yarn in our project okay and if you should go down again you are going to see documentation on how to simply add it to our project okay without wasting much time let's go to our projects okay so uh i'm going to open up the command prompt now to start our project and before you can start the react app and this project i assume that you already know uh, how to create a new project in react and you already know the basics in react okay so let's create our project i'm going to be using create react app and that's react lightbox to do react So it's going to create a new folder called React Nightbox Tutorial. And inside the folder, that's where it's going to put all our projects. So I'm going to uh, pause the tutorial now. And when it is done, we are going to continue. OK, it's, it has done uh, installing. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open a new Interf command prompt interface and I'm going to be using this one to to start the development server so I'm just going to change the directory inside the new react lightbox tutorial directory so I'm going to say cd so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear the uh, 
all these things off the screen and I'm going to start the development server that's going to be npm start okay then this one we are going to be using it I'm, I'm also going to see the inside directory so this one we are going to be using it to install dependency and this one um, for uh, development server to watch the development server okay so um let me okay so i'm going to open the text editor now i'm going to open the text editor now um, i'm using v vs code i can open it on the command prompt also okay so after doing that then let's go to our project folder okay so i'm going to be copying i'm going to be moving this images file inside south folder of the of the project okay so we are done with that all right and our text editor also has opened so i hope you understand the basics of um, react so and you understand all these files here because i'm not going to be talking much about them in this tutorial and i'm going to open our app.js and index.js and our app is already running in the browser right so it's still it's still loading so and let's just wait for the stuff to finish loading okay it has finished loading and as you can see it is the default uh, react stuff that is there now all right so i'm going to be creating a component here okay but before that let's go back to react uh, lightbox and let's go to the in installation how to install the tool I I'm, I'm just going to copy this and paste it in the in this um, command form that we're going to use to install dependency so it's going to install it so while installing it you can go back and i'm going to create a component here that's the main component i'm going to call it main component you can call it anything you like main component dot yes okay so first of all i'll first of all import react react from react so after that then export const main component so it's not going to be receiving any ports so return Okay, so we are going to be returning the gallery so we are going to be returning the gallery and after returning it we are going to be importing it into our app.js so now i'm just going to go on and style it and when i when i'm done styling it i'm going we are going to continue okay so uh, i'm done styling it now the next thing for us now is to import it in our app.js and let's go back to the browser to check our app.js and as you can see it's still the uh, default stuff that is, that is still there all right so i'm just going to delete all these things that is there and i'm going to import our main component into import main component from main component okay so main of main component okay so now it's going to give us an error this error now we can just go back and i want to um tell you how to how to include the SLC or the path to a file in 
um, in React. So we cannot just say that okay, the file, the image one picture in the images. Let's say the images directory for slash img one dot jpg cannot just uh, pass this inside the SLC, it will not work. So let's, let's try, let's test it out. Okay, see main component export const main component. Okay, 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 okay. It's because of this error. So we cannot we cannot do it like that. We cannot we cannot do the stuff like this. So I, I'll just we are not passing the SLC of the image like that, so I'm just going to port it, and this is how to do it. Require them, I'll paste it inside the require them default. Okay, so by this, it's going to link to the part of the file. Okay, then let me help React to load the page, and okay. And we still get an error. So what's happening? Import main component for main component. Let me say. Okay. I think it's cost because of the error that is causing it. Okay, I forgot this uh, square uh, the curly breeze. Okay, so I can see our our picture is now displaying in the browser. So I'm going to I'm just going to go on and list out all these all the remaining picture. Okay, I'm done listing them out. So let's check them in the browser. All right, so um I made a mistake in one image file here this is a png all right so let's go back to the browser and let me air for react to load the page oops what say image 2.png okay what's the file okay it's not image 2 it's 32.png png let's go back and i'll just kindly air for react to load the page Okay, I can see all the pictures are now displaying in the browser beautifully. Okay, so we are now going to add the uh, the React Lightbox uh, the React Lightbox library so that it's going to be displaying the gallery. So let's check our cons um, the command prompt if the React Lightbox has been installed. Okay, it has been installed. Now the next thing now to do is let me just give all these things a padding. Just give them padding. Give it stuff padding. Let's say padding there. Okay. Now let's go to so the next thing now to do is since we've installed it, so we are going to wrap the in the index.js, we are going to wrap the app with the simple react lightbox component so let's go to the index.js and import this here so I'm, going to, I'm just going to wrap this as simple react lightbox okay then import react lightbox so i'm just going to move this in Okay, so what's the next thing? The next thing is we are going to wrap all the gallery with this uh, Excel L wrapper component. So I, I will say okay, and if you if you subscribe for the full version, you can just use this instead instead of that instead of this um, one at the top here. Okay, so let's check. Oh, simple React. I think I made a mistake there. Simple React Lightbox. Simple React Lightbox. Um, simple React Lightbox. Oh. Okay. 
just replace it. Okay, I made a typo. Now let me copy that one again. Uh, import. So we are going to go to the main component and at the top of the file, I'm going to import that and I'm going to wrap the gallery with the SR L wrapper. So copy that and I'm going to cut it and go to the end and wrap it here. So I'm just going to move this in a bit. So I'm going to, it's going to look formatted. All right, so we are done. Now, let's go to the browser, to our project page and reload. Okay, so I think this is um, overflowing. Is overflowing. Let me just remove the padding. Remove the padding and add margin here. Okay. So let's go back and let me hit React now. Okay. So it's now displaying very well now. Okay. So. Since we've added the um, React Lightbox gallery, now if I click on any image, if I click on any of the image on the gallery, if I click on this now, so it's going to bring up the gallery. Okay, so this is the gallery now. So the gallery, I can see it also has thumbnail at the bottom. I can use to change the view. Also have um, like displaying slideshow. Explain which slide show. You can also hide the thumbnail and can download each of the files. You can download each of the files. Okay, so it is very, very cool. If you add it to your project, you can also request, request uh, full screen. So if you add it to your project, it's very, very cool. So this is how to um, add the um, React Lightbox into your project. And there are more, many more stuff. That you can also do you can customize the uh, all the buttons there you can you can customize it and you can also do it dynamically by setting like if you have a um, an image that is from that is from an external resource so you can do it this way you can do it this way maybe from database or from a from a cdn or whatever so you can just Create an array of objects and pass it inside the um, SRL wrapper. Okay, and if you come down, you see other cool stuff too that you can do with it. So you can also customize it, customize the background color of the buttons, uh, the settings, the overlay color, the uh, autoplay speed, and the caption, the caption, the font family of the caption. You can change the font and you can do cool stuff with it. Okay, so that is uh, how to integrate the cool React, uh, React Lightbox gallery in your project. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and give the video a thumb up. If you don't like it, just give it a thumb down and tell me the reason why you don't like it. And please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. It encourages me to do more. Thank you. See you in next tutorial.